I love my wife. I love my kids. Pero minsan sumasagi sa isip ko na sana, sana single na lang ako. Hindi para makapambabae. Iniisip ko kasi kapag may pamilya ka na, hindi ka na pwedeng gumastos ng wala lang. Kailangan pinag-iipunan, pinag-iisipan. Hindi ka pwedeng umuwi kung kailan mo lang gusto kasi may naghihintay na sa'yo. Pwede kang di kumilos kapag weekend kasi parents mo naman yung abala sa gawaing bahay. Nakapag-single ka, lahat ng kita mo, sa'yo lang. Makakapundar ka ng mga gamit o makakapunta ka kung saan-saan mo gustong pumunta. Honestly, I miss that life. I miss being Ben. Ngayon kasi, Daddy Ben, asawa ng wife ko, tatay sa anak ko, yun na lang ako. Parang feeling ko, feeling ko lang naman, na wala yung tunay na ako. Kaya minsan, namimiss ko ang biyaheng single. My love, I have, I am not yet there. I don't know if I'll ever get there. Pero one thing I know for sure, based on my own parents, based sa mga kaibigan kong parents na, once you have a child, you enter into a different world. A world wherein somehow, Yung want mo, yung needs mo, yung dreams mo are no longer a priority. Because once you have a child, that child will be your whole world. Everything you build from that moment forward ay para sa bata na. Para sa mundo niya, para sa future niya, para sa ikabubuti niya, para sa kapakanan niya. And even if you want to put yourself on the priority list with the demands of stability financially, hindi mo magawa. Kasi iniisip mo na bilang isang magulang na kaysa gastosin ko to para sa sarili kong gusto, ibibili ko na lang to ng gamit ng anak ko. So, ganun na yung thinking mo. Parang, for some reason and for an anak, parang inexplicable way, nagmature ka bila, bigla. Parang yung pag-iisip mo is no longer for yourself. And you do it unconsciously and consciously. Ibig sabihin parang nagiging reflex mo na na everything you do, everything you think, every action you take, kailangan ang magbe-benefit from it all ay yung bata, yung future ng anak mo. And that is a very adorable and honorable way to live. Wishing that sometimes you are single doesn't make you a bad parent doesn't make you a bad partner in life, doesn't make you a bad wife, doesn't make you a bad bad husband. It's just that naiintindihan ko Ben, sometimes you miss being you. Kasi iba tayo eh. Iba yung, iba yung ugali natin, iba yung lifestyle natin, iba yung way natin ng, ng, ng pag decide pag-atake ng buhay, kapag single tayo, eh, ba? we have our own single ways of expressing that we are single. Some people do go out with their friends a lot. O diba, nagbabar hopping sila, o kaya nagta-travel sila around the Philippines or maybe around the world if merong budget. Na yung uh, pag- Pag-describe mo ng singlehood mo is you spending money on the things that you love. Like, for example, games, buying load of games, consoles, computer stuff, o ba? PS5, PS4. Kumbaga, yung, yung 
luxury ng buhay, hindi man ganun kalaki yung sweldo mo. Pero yung sweldo mo, alam mong pinambibili mo ng mga bagay na gusto mo. Collection mo ng watch, uh, car, o di ba, accessories ng car mo. If you're into cars, into motorcycles, kung mahilig ka sa mga sneakers, yung collection mo ng mga Jordan, dyan mo spend yung money mo eh. Dyan mo inilalagay because you want yourself to live comfortable. Uh, comfortably. Kasi nagtatrabaho ka naman eh. Nagsusumikap ka naman eh. So, you don't want to feel like uh, parang it's a stretch. Working na- da- day and night. Tapos wala ka man lang na ire-reward sa sarili mo. And when you are single, kahit papano, you can do that. But, kapag ikaw ay uh, in a relationship or married na, medyo some kind na naka naka nakatiklop ng onti yung kamay mo when it comes sa gastu- gastusin. Kapag in a relationship ka kasi, lalong-lalo na if it's a long uh, running relationship already, you are preparing for your future. So, andyan na tayo sa mga investments. Lupa, bahay, uh, business, if you must, o kaya savings, ganyan. Pero when you are married, of course, andyan na yung mga bills to pay, yung andyan na yung mga Uh, tuition fee ng bata if you are going on a vacation you are no longer considering one ticket or booking for one person sa hotel you are booking for at least four or five people pati yung tickets for five transportation kailangan malaki so alam mo yun parang yung gastos of course multiplied into the numbers of people in your family so I do understand as to why from time to time you miss the life of Ben. Kasi maybe dati ikaw yung part ng varsity team o ba? Diba? Or even captain ng basketball team. Dati ang uh, pinagtutuunan uh, mo ng pansin ay uh, manood ng basketball sa isang uh, bar o ba? Diba? Sports bar kung tawagin nila nowadays. Maybe uh, ikaw yung tipo ng taong mahilig mag road trip together with your barkada but because uh, you are now married, you are now with kids, you can no longer do those things. Well, my love, from time from time to time, you can pa rin naman. O ba? Diba? You can enjoy being Ben. Pwede mo na mailabas si Ben from time to time. No one is gonna restrict you from from being you. All you have to do is communicate with your wife. O, diba? Even parents do have their own time. Even parents should have their own time. Para hindi nyo nararamdaman na nawawala yung individuality ninyo once pumasok kayo sa loob ng isang pamilya. Yes, you have to provide for your family. Make sure and ensure the future of your family. Yes, that is true. Pero that doesn't mean... <clears throat> na along the, along the way mawawala yung kayo talaga mawawala yung personalidad ninyo o mararamdaman ninyo na yung uh, side ninyo that uh, made uh, that relationship possible is no longer existing kasi it does na suppress lang siya by all the adult stuff you have to deal with by the parenthood stuff you had to deal with pero that doesn't mean completely na siyang nawala you just have To have a good relationship with your wife to be able to communicate those things. O diba na, love, uh, ngayon darating na Saturday, magkakaroon kami ng get-together ng barkada. Yung barkadang nakilala mo before, nung dalaga pa lang tayo sa kabinata. Yung barkadang kasama ko mag-road trip. Eh, nagyayayaan sila mag-road trip ngayon, love eh. Baka pwede namang sama din ako sa kanila. Gusto ko ding mag-road trip. Huwag ka magalala, iwan ko kayo ng grocery ng mga bata. O diba? Para pag uh, dito meron kang katuwa o kayo papuntahin, papuntahin mo yung mama mo, yung papa mo, banding mo na kayo sa park, uh, balik ako ng ganitong araw. Just do not break that trust and that cycle can happen. And of course, reciprocate. If your, girl, uh, if your wa- uh, wife would want to go out together with her girls naman, her side of the friends naman, and uh, they want to have a girls' night out or a reunion with Barkada, reciprocate the, that trust. Para siya din, hindi niya nararamdaman na wala na yung individuality niya bilang isang babae. Give her a chance to dress up, feel like, alam mo yun, feel like uh, what she felt. Before pregnancy, before having kids, I'm sure that one is negotiable naman sa isang, uh, isang pamilya, sa isang married life. All you have to do, Ben, is to communicate and that can happen. 
and kids will understand. Do not underestimate the capacity of your children to understand those things, especially nowadays. Sa panahon ngayon, my love, they are they have the potential to be smarter than you think they are. So, maiintindihan nila yan. Just like when you are telling us, your kids, your children, that we shouldn't underestimate naman ang power of understanding ng parents. Likewise, sa mga bata, sa mga anak ninyo, huwag nyong i-underestimate yung kapasidad nilang intindihin yung gusto ninyo. Kasi, for sure, my love, if that will make you happy, your kids would want you to feel happy. So, Ben, don't be exhausted. Don't miss your old self so much. You can still, uh, you can still be that person. All you have to do is communicate. Claro? Claro. <laughs>